Hey guys, Mechanic CG here, and welcome back to another episode of Forza Motorsport 3. Today is episode number 53. If you want to help support the channel, then leave a like, comment down below, and subscribe, and feel free to check out the other videos in the Forza Mega Series. Now let's get into the content. This video was streamed live on Twitch. Come watch us live with the link in the description. If you want to get cheap game keys for Xbox, PlayStation or PC, then check out Eniba in the description down below. All right, so we are here now, not for the Civic versus Golf. We're actually here for the Class C Euro Tour. Uh, we're going to be taking the BMW M3 E36. I know a lot of people like it. <coughs> Hands. Um... <laughs> <laughs> We're going to go for Silverstone, Amalfi Coast, Circuit de Catalunya, Le Mans Circuit, and then Silverstone. Let's get going. No idea. Maybe expensive shops. Mate, this shit, right? This is... This is... A ch Cadbury's is the cheapest chocolate, pretty much, in the UK, other than own brand chocolate. Like, it's the cheapest name brand. But it's also the best chocolate out there. Holy shit, this thing grips around the corners there. This is pretty much stuck except for a little bit of extra horsepower. Like, four extra horsepower. Fair enough, fair enough. Yeah, Cadbury's it, it's so nice. Ugh. It's like a really smooth milk chocolate. Melt in your mouth. Really nice. Seems pretty quick. It's decent from stock. It is really decent, actually, this car. I think it was a good choice. And the purple colour was a necessity as well. Purple gang. One-eyed, one horn, flying purple people. It's one-eyed, one horn, flying purple people. Show you to me. I don't even know the lyrics. It's just that one bit that I know. One-eyed, one horn, flying purple people. The sunlight hurts my eyes. Put on those shades and wave to yesterday. Rem, 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 rem. This has got a really nice sounding engine. What um, what engines in this hands? Because I don't want to say V8. I want to say V6. Hard to tell whether it's a V6 or a V8. If you tell me it's an inline six, I'll jump out the window right now. Is it inline six? <laughs> No. Oh, I'm gonna have to research this now. <laughs> oh. It actually, that actually surprises me. That it's an inline engine in this. Because I thought that M cars would more than likely have V engines. V configurations. Put on those shades and wave to yesterday.
It's a Supra. Is that a Supra? The sunlight hurts my eyes. Yeah. Meow. I gotta do some like retro arch research as well, see if I can get retro arch to run on a Steam Deck. If I can learn that, then I should be ready once I get it. Let's hope that we get it before I finish this game. Let's be honest. Because if I finish this game, this game's gonna be finished by about November, December time, so. Apparently the emails go around every Monday and Thursday for the pre-orders, so if you get an email on Monday or Thursday, it means you're ready to buy your Steam Deck. You know, the one thing that I find really surprising is the fact that the Foo Fighters were never featured in many racing games. I don't know if they were featured in any, to be honest, but their old music from, like, 2004 to 2014, maybe, were all perfect candidates for racing games. They never used them. Like, imagine this in a Need for Speed game. It'd be an awesome song. It'd be cool. Right, we've got 10,000 XP. That is up to level 2.5. Not quite. 40% uh, discount on driveline upgrades by BMW and a 40% discount on intake and manifold and throttle body upgrades by BMW. Alright, here we go. Mm-mm. This thing is really liking this track. I 
think I found my perfect Amalfi Coast car. This thing is smooth. Smooth operator. Smooth operator. Bum, 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 bum. Should probably move the mic closer to my face. That might be a good idea. Not bad. Come on, chop chop. My phone has gone buzz buzz. It's actually quite interesting seeing how the other AI cars actually flow around this track. I think that's pretty cool. Little bit of airtime there. If I'm not mistaken. Ah, so C-Class is going to be around um, for Jimmy Kaido. For those uh, really long circuit events. So I think I'm going to be taking this around uh, for Jimmy Kaido. wasn't ideal. Lost control of the car a little bit. Which is never very good, very good, very good. Never very good. I don't like that. Oh, it is going to be kind of interesting. When uh, WRC Generations comes out, that's going to be fun. We'll be streaming a lot of that on the channel. And if the release date is on a Friday or a Wednesday or a Monday, we'll be cancelling whatever Forza stream is happening that day because WRC takes priority. But then I'll reschedule it. Hiccups.
Oh shit. Almost lost it again. Right, one more lap to go. Final lap. Do you know, I feel like every racing game should have a final lap voice line. So once you cross that finish line for the second to last time, it just goes, final lap. Perfect. across the line good result there got 12 grand and we now got a 40% discount on valves that upgrades by BMW Motorsport all right <laughs> let's go what are you doing what is this What a terrible start! Is that that Grand Sport? I'll be totally honest. How is what? How is there no body damage? Go 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 go! Nice. Hundred and forty miles an hour on that main straight, that is not bad at all. That is quick.
one more lap to go. Not bad. Things are really nice, actually. Oh, we'll take that. Thank you very much. 11 grand. All right, here we go. Is that a Supra? So I've just done a little research. Um, there's a document online. Basically allows you to see um, the technical specifications for the Xbox Ones. Uh, so the original Xbox One was 1.2 teraflops, the graphics power. Uh, the Xbox One S was 1.3 teraflops. And then the Xbox One X was like cranked up to the max, it ended up being six, right? In terms of graphical processing. So it's like four times the original console. However... The Steam Deck is 1.6, which means it's more powerful than an Xbox One S in terms of graphical performance. And when it comes to CPU usage, gaming and CPU isn't that important nowadays. So, Steam Deck's pretty much on par with an Xbox One. That's crazy. Impressive. The fact that Microsoft still will not make a handheld Xbox and Sony as well will not make a handheld console but Steam has gone out and done it. Kind of speaks volumes.
I still can't believe they delayed all flights today by two hours. Because of the, um... Queen's funeral. I think that was a bit... A bit odd. Like, two hours worth of flights in Heathrow was pretty much delayed. Which is never a good idea. Bing bong. Not bad. Oh, I'm going to enjoy taking thumbnails today because I've realised I've got two of my favourite cars that I've driven so far. This car, which is an absolute beauty, really enjoyed driving. And that other BMW as well. That 2009 one series. I know I'm not going to be this fast as lap time for this lap because this lap is crazy quick. One fifty six point four. Impressive. Let's see if we can get the lap time to below eight minutes, like the entire race. Not bad. Oh, it's quick. It's quick. We are actually being quicker. Which means we have the possibility of one beating a 1 minute 56. But also getting the entire race time down to below. Never mind, take it completely back. 
<laughs> I spoke too soon. Well, at least the split time is going to be quick. Seven fifty seven, not bad. Woohoo! Right. One more race. And then we got five more races and then I can end the stream. Alright, here we go. <coughs> Let's go. Go go go! Oh my god, I've realized that my hair is starting to get long again. I've only seen it over the past few days. But it's gotten really long. It is weird going around this track in this entire section here being completely empty. <coughs> oh, this is like driving on ice. Yeah, because this section is where the... Uh, I believe this is the Hamilton Strait that we're on now. <coughs> nice. Nicely done. <laughs> so we still have um, probably about 50% of this uh, event. Wow. This game to do. I really am enjoying it though. I have been enjoying this game a lot. Strange driving this car through maggots and Beckett's. This track itself is just so empty now that you, when you think about it. Now the track is lined, absolutely littered with grandstands. I mean, you have grandstands all the way going around there, all the way around the outside of there. I wonder how many tickets they can sell to Silverstone, actually. Because there's definitely a large number of seats in positions places that you can sit so I can imagine a lot but
Right, two more laps to go of Silverstone. Not bad. There are so many cranes around this track, it's unreal. I assume they've got more permanent fixtures for, like, camera gear and stuff like that. I don't assume they're using cranes still. Nice. Okay, there we go. Got away with that. Fitting nicely. And then after this, we got one more lap. I wonder what year it was when they changed the uh, curbs from uh, red and blue, uh, white and blue to white and black. Because obviously a majority of tracks have uh, white and red. That's sort of the common curb colour for a lot of racetracks. But Silverstone was always um, blue and white. And then they've recently changed it again to, well, over the past few years, to white and black. Which, personal opinion, I really like the white and black curbs. I don't know if they still have them, though, as white and black. Or whether they change them again to something else. Nice. Looking good. Very good. Very nice. Very good. Very nice. Hello, sexy banana. And there we go. Across the line. Not bad. 14 grand. I'll take it. And there we go. There's our bonus. So thank you guys so much for watching. If you did enjoy, be sure to leave a like, comment down below and subscribe, and I will see you in the next one. Peace out.